Now in this video, let's talk about private browsing on a Safari and how you can disable or delete the history as some people search for it. And the thing is that the private browsing never actually saves the history of websites visited. So nothing like that actually gets stored on your iPhone. That's the good thing about it. If you go to these settings, you can actually go ahead and, and decide if you are in the uh, private or um, the regular mode by clicking on these um, toggles at the bottom and you can switch between private and the uh, regular seven tabs. So from these seven tabs, the history is going to be saved, but from the other, it's just not. So you should not worry about that. However, if you want to delete the browsing history of regular stuff or safari uh, in general then what you want to do is to go to the settings and scroll down to find at the safari so it should be somewhere around here tap on it and you have a couple of different things like the search engine and the stuff and as you are here in uh, the settings you have like one tab which says clear history and website data if you tap on it it gives you like an explanation of what it is so um, clearing will remove history cookies and other browsing data history will be cleared from devices signed into your iCloud account. So as you can see, this doesn't only apply to this iPhone, but it applies to pretty much the iPad or other iPhones that you have logged in with your account. So it's pretty significant and and this doesn't only delete the history, but also the cookies and data. So if you have any preferences or um, if you always click on allow cookies and stuff, and now if you come back, it's going to ask you the same stuff again. And one good thing to think about, or if you don't trust the system that the uh, private tabs don't actually store cookies and stuff. Well, if you go to like random website, which I go to a lot, let's say it's going to be social blade and as you can see, after some time, it's just going to ask me for the privacy notice because it doesn't remember that I've been to this page like a thousand times already. And now I have to again allow the cookies and like customize all the stuff. So uh, after that, I can use it. However, in the regular browsing mode and not in the private, but in the regular, it, I only have to do it once and it remembers it. So right now, if I like reset and clear history and website data, if I do that and come back, to Safari, for example, to this page, even in the regular mode and not in the private, it's going to ask me to like uh, choose my cookies and preferences once again and all the uh, autofills, everything is just going to be clear. So yeah, do whatever you want with that, but this is just how it works. So this was just a quick video. Hope the video helped you out for more content. Make sure to subscribe here to Fox Tech and also check out the next video right here, which I think you're going to find very helpful. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later.